All right, guys. Today we are going to draw fraction multiplication. It is so stinking cold. Amnality. That's the topic for today. And this is one third times one half. Lots of times kids say to me that they don't understand why when you multiply fractions, your answer gets smaller. Okay? They just intuitively don't understand this. Today, you're going to see very, very clearly why it gets smaller. All right, here. And go ahead and draw a square of medium, about medium size. Not too small and not too gigantic. Draw the best square that you can, and you leave enough space around it so that you can write some explanation. The first thing you're going to do is cut this thing into vertical thirds, okay? So I'm going to put a little asterisk here, and I'm going to write the steps out as I go. Third is the first fraction. My eyes, and I put a little dot there and a little dot there so that it looks like it's cut up into thirds. And then... I go ahead and I draw my vertical lines. Okay. Now, the next thing that you do is shade one of those thirds. We're going to shade one of the thirds purple. Now, what I'd like you guys to do is use the side of your pencil, okay, and go ahead. Now, I'm going to cut this thing. Cut the square into horizontal halves. Same square, but this time I'm going to cut it in a different direction and I'm going to cut it into half. Drawing method works is because you have two different directions. You start vertical and then you finish horizontal, otherwise it wouldn't work. All right, this one's not too bad. Squint your eyes, figure out approximately where a half is, you know, and then you just note. The square has been cut into how many equally spaced pieces? Exactly. Right. So now we've got a square that's cut up into six. And of course, six is the common denominator. Okay. All right. And by George by Jingo, if we were just straight multiplying, you know, you'd multiply across the bottoms, you'd multiply across the tops, so it makes sense. And here's a visual representation of why you multiply right across the bottoms. No. Called sixths. All right. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is shade one half. Okay. The horizontal bars for the halves. We're going to shade in one half. What you're going to need to do here is um, this time I want you to do a cross hatch. Since all you have is a pencil with you right now, you can't change colors, do a crosshatch approach. We are now looking at a picture of the answer. Okay? This is really, if we were to look at what this means intuitively, we're taking half of one-third. Okay? So we've got a picture of the one-third, it's purple, but I only want half of that one-third. So I only want the part that is doubly shaded, that is both purple and orange, because I only want half of one third, okay? So let me go ahead and outline this real heavily, because that overlap portion is literally equal to one of those six. Now, the thing that is so neat is you can use this method to illustrate even harder fractions. Now this, I tried to make it as baby easy as possible, okay? But if you understand the concept, you can now go in and take three-fifths times, you know, seven-eighths, you know, anything like that.